Greetings, and God bless you, great wonderful people all over this land. This is Bishop James Church Jr., Faith Church Ministries in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I want to thank God for you this day, thank God for you in 2020. Uh, we have crossed over from 2019 and all the other previous years. I want to thank God for you hanging in there and uh, just crossing over with me. Uh, blessings to you and your families on this upcoming year and season and many years to come. I just want to take a moment today in my travels as I stopped alongside the road to share some great news with you. I want to tell you on this particular day that God has his eyes on you. You are like that little sparrow that he talks about in the song that so many of us have sung for so many years. Unfortunately for many of us, it seems that even though we were the sparrow, it seems that whatever we were facing and the challenges that we had to endure, it seemed that sometimes it seemed that God did not have his eyes on us. But I want to be the messenger today of encouragement to let you know that it's no longer 2019 or 18 or 17 for that matter. We have made it to 2020 and God has 2020 vision and he's looking directly at you your situation, your family, your circumstances, your trials, your tests. doesn't matter if you feel perplexed or distressed or troubled on every side. God has not forgotten. I want to tell you today that while God has his eyes on you, you are just as beautiful than you've ever been before. Even in your worst situation, doesn't matter whether you're facing sickness, whether you're alcoholic, whether you're a pimp, whether you're a homemonger, a thief, a murderer, a robber, or you're just a gossiper or someone that causes strife and, and problems for other people. It does not matter, even if you're the enemy. God has his eyes on you. I want to challenge you today that everything that you have been facing, it has only been a test. God has declared a state of emergency for your situation in 2020. And he's going to come to see about you. He did it for the man who was lame on his feet in Acts. He did it for Hezekiah who was uh, pronounced to die. He did it for Job who was restored. He gave him triple for his troubles. He's done it for so many others, too many to name. But I want to tell you today, saints, that because you have held on to the promises of God, because God has become your faith grip, and you have gripped him so tight, you have now become like Jacob, who God sees and says, you are not going to let me go until I bless you. And so God is at that position now where he's going to bless you. And the good news is, is even in his blessing, you don't have to let him go. Just let him know you're not going to wrestle with him. But just let him know you're going to surrender and give it all to him. And let God bless you the way he chooses to bless you and wants to bless you. He's been wanting to bless you for such a long time. Yes, there's been decisions that you've had to make and decisions that you've had to mull through and, and people and places and things that you've had to navigate through and around and under and over. But in this season that we're in, God wants me to tell you today that you are blessed beyond recognition. You have not gotten a certificate. You have gotten, not gotten a promotion. You have not gotten the credit for a job well done. You have not gotten the attaboys. You have not gotten uh, the trophy. You have not gotten the promotion. But let me tell you today. God has his eyes on you. And whatever you've been facing. Whatever you've been dealing with. God's getting ready to change your address. He's getting ready to change your address. Where you used to live, you're not going to live there anymore. 
God's getting ready to change your address. The sickness that you thought was unto death, God's getting ready to change your address. The financial stress and distress and situation that told you it was over, God's getting ready to change your address. Those suicidal thoughts, those homonger thoughts, those thieving thoughts, those murderous thoughts, those contemptuous thoughts, God is getting ready to change your address. Yes, somebody has prophesied to you. Many times you have failed to believe. Sometimes you've even been lied to. But it doesn't matter in 2020. Because God is getting ready to change your address. God's getting ready to do it for you. I want to thank you for holding on. Many times you've been holding on to the threads of the rope, ready to let go. But now I say, let go and let God. Turn it all over to him. He can do more with it than you could ever imagine. And in closing today, I want to tell you that the life that you want to lead is in your mouth. I say again, the life you want to lead, lead, is in your mouth. The life you want to leave is in your mouth. There's a difference. Let me say that again. I say the life you want to lead is in your mouth. And the life you want to leave is in your mouth. Life and death is in the power of your mouth. Say it, see it, and seize it in 2020. I want to tell you that I took a moment today to come your way, Bishop James Church Jr. of Faith Church Ministries. I love you dearly. But I want to tell you that God is going to take more than a minute to come your way. Because when he comes, he's not only going to show up, but he's going to show out. And I want to tell you, get ready. Position yourself in a state of expectancy. And learn to walk in the awareness of the presence of God. Watch what God will do for you, saints, in 2020. He's going out for you this year. He's going out. And I want to tell you today that I love you. Hope to see you soon. And if there's anything I've said that may have encouraged you in all of these years and even at this very moment, if you're led in any possible way to bless our ministry, feel free to do it. That's not what this is about. I want to tell you, you can do that on Faith Church Ministries, Weebly.com. That's Faith Church Ministries, Weebly.com. You can do it there. Or you can just send us a letter or a donation or what have you in the mail at P.O. Box 10193, Virginia Beach, Virginia 23450. We welcome any love and support and partnership. But I want to tell you that in this season, what you do for the Lord, it's going to last. This is Bishop James Church Jr. Signing off until next time. God bless you. I love you. And hope to see you again soon. God bless.